Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about post basic BSc nursing first year previous year question papers. The subjects what we are going to discuss in this video is maternal nursing, medical surgical nursing, and child health nursing question paper from Dr. NTR University of Health Sciences, September 2022 supplementary question paper. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. So the first question paper, what we are going to discuss is maternal nursing. The question paper code is 1620, Dr. NTR University of Health Sciences, Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh, first year uh, examination 2YDC post basic program maternal nursing the time allotted is 3 hours and the maximum marks is 75 marks and uh, answer the following questions write an essay on any two of the following so first question is 1a write the classification of anemia 1b explain the Causes of anemia in antenatal women. 1C. Enumerate the nursing care plan of anemic antenatal women. Second question. 2A. List down the minor disorders in newborn. 2B. Apprise the physical features in newborn. 2C. Explain the nursing care of healthy newborn until discharge from the hospital. Third question 3A. Write the causes of onset of labor. 3B. Explain the physiology of the first stage of labor. 3C. Explain the nursing care of a woman in the first stage of labor. Out of these three questions you have to answer two questions. 2 into 15 is equal to 30 marks. So first question you have three subdivisions 1A, B and C. Each question carries 1A 2 marks, 1B 6 marks and 1C 7 marks respectively. Then uh, second question 2A 2 marks, 2B 6 marks, 2C 7 marks. Three, third question 3A 3 marks, 3B 8 marks and 3C 4 marks. So out of these two three questions answer any 2. Next 2 into 15 is 30 marks. Next moving on to short notes. Write short notes on any of 5 of the following. So here first Fourth question, okay, in continuation, fourth question, causes for male infertility. Fifth question, differentiate between primary and secondary dysmenorrhea. Sixth question, causes and symptoms of uterine prolapse. Seventh question, breastfeeding techniques. Eighth question, prevention of breast engorgement. Ninth question, involution of the uterus. 10th question postnatal examination 5 into 5 is equal to 25 marks out of 7 questions you have to answer only 5 questions next moving on to write brief answers of the following 11th question define obstetrical score 12th question define home and sign 13th question define lines gravidum 14th question list out the dietary requirement in pregnancy 15th question, enumerate the exercises during labor. 16th question, define breast e examination in pregnancy. 17th question, Babinsky reflex. 18th question, define fontanel. 19th question, enumerate the care of women upon prostaglandin insertion. 20th question, define Casco speculum. Okay, so... This uh, carries, uh, each question carries in brief answers 2 marks. So, 10 into 2 is equal to 20 marks. So, totally it is 75 ma marks. Next, we will see child health nursing. The question paper code is uh, 1621. Same Dr. NTR University of Health Sciences, AP Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh, BSc Nursing Degree Examination, September 2022, First Year Examination, 2YDC, Post Basic Program, Child Health Nursing, the time allotted is 3 hours, maximum marks is 75. So under this, write uh, an essay on any two of the following, same, out of three questions, you have to answer any two, 2 into 15 is equal to 30, 1A, 
Define cleft palate and cleft lip. 1B. List out the signs and symptoms of cleft palate and cleft lip. 1C. Write a nursing care plan for a child with cleft lip and cleft palate. So 1A carries 2 marks, 1B carries 5 marks, 1C carries 8 marks. Second question, explain the newborn assessment. Third question, 3A, define hydrocephalus. 3B, list out the clinical features and diagnostic measures of hydrocephalus. 3C, explain the nursing management of child with hydrocephalus. So 3A, B, C. 3A carries 4 marks, 3B carries uh, 3 marks and 3C carries 8 marks. So out of these 3 answer you need 2, 2 into 15, 30 as I have told already. Next is write short notes on any 5 of the following. Out of 7 short notes you have to answer only 5. Fourth question trends in pediatric nursing. Fifth question foreign body aspiration. Sixth question colostomy care. 7th question, differentiate between nephritis and nephrotic syndrome. 8th question, nursing management with sickle cell anemia. 9th question, mums. 10th question, juvenile delinquency. 5 into 5 is equal to 25 marks. Write brief answers of the following. 11th question, meaning of torticolis. 12th question, types of spina bifida. 13th question, components of under 5 clinic. 14th question, list any 4 nutritional deficiency disorders. 15th question, list out the causes of neonatal asepsis. 16th question, define APGA score. 17th question, enumerate the causes of intestinal obstruction. 18th question, define, phenyl, define PICU. 19th question, define optional vaccines 20th question define imr that is infant mortality rate so out of these uh, 10 questions there is no choice you have to answer all the 10 each question carries 2 marks 10 into 2 is equal to 20 marks so next is uh, medical surgical nursing question paper code is 1621 dr ntr university of health sciences vijayawada andhra pradesh bsc nursing degree examination september 2021 first year examinations 4ydc program medical surgical nursing answer the following questions time 3 hours maximum marks 75 marks write an essay on any two of the following out of three questions you have to answer only two okay so first question is Discuss in detail about chronic renal failure. Second question 2A. What is cholecystitis? 2 marks. 2B. Write in detail about management of cholecystitis. 13 marks. So 2 plus 13 is equal to 15. Third question. Mr. Rajesh. A 68-year-old man with diagnosis of hypertension is admitted in the medical ward. 3A. Discuss the factors leading to hypertension. 4 marks. 3B. Enlist the complication. 3 marks. 3C. Frame a discharge protocol for prevention of complications due to hypertension. That is 8 marks. Next, out of these 3, answer any 2, 2 into 15, 30 marks. Write short notes on any 5 of the following. Fourth question, nurses role in chemotherapy. Fifth question, rehabilitation measures after amputation. Sixth question, types of fractures. 7th question hepatitis B, 8th question urinary tract infection, 9th question arthritis, 10th question nurses role in prevention of communicable diseases. Out of these 7 questions answer any 5, 5 into 5, 25. Write brief answers of the following. 11th question define shock, 12th question differentiate dysmenorrhea and amenorrhea. 13th question, list any 4 antihypertensives. 14th question, write the surgical management for hemorrhoids. 15th question, differentiate the clinical features between hypo and hyperthyroidism. List the side effects of radiation therapy. Define the rule of 9 18th question, list down the types of pneumonia. 19th question, list down the surgeries for renal calculus. 20th question, define cardiac monitor. I repeat the brief answers. 11th question, define shock. 12th question, differentiate between dysmenorrhea and amenorrhea. 13th question, 
list any four antihypertensives 14th question list the surgical management for hemorrhoids 15th question differentiate the clinical features between hypo and hypothyroidism 16th question list the side effects of radiation therapy 17th question define the rule of 9 18th question list down the types of pneumonia 19th question list down the surgeries of renal calculus 20th question define cardiac monitor Hope this video is clear for you all. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. My previous videos link I have given in description box, suggested end card and I card. We have posted a separate playlist for BSc nursing question papers for first year, second year, third year and fourth year separately. You can watch it and you can be get benefited with those videos. Thank you friends. Keep supporting to Science Easy Tech channel.